You find the mites uh, at the moment they're fairly widespread. The general public can find them on a lot of roadways. Uh, the best option would be to contact a local biosecurity officer and they will tell you where the, the most likely sites of collection are. Collection, all I'd say is if you can collect them and get them out as quickly as possible, um, don't put them in plastic bags so they sweat. The mites don't appear to attack the other plants. It's been extensively researched by Landcare Re Research. Um, at the moment it seems very target specific to broom. The mites attack the broom by just attaching themselves to the branches and eating the leaves and just helping to stunt the growth. I hope that uh, broom gall mite will be used in other areas in New Zealand. Um, it's a matter of just getting the information out there, people knowing where the collection sites are and um, just assisting with the spread. To release the broom gall mite, I'd strongly suggest that it is something that farmers can do themselves. It could be the breakthrough for the, for the worst part of our area if they could get a hold because it's, you know, it's a pretty large scale, this middle part of the river that we're uh, releasing these mites, so yeah, I'm, I'm full of hope for it, it's the only solution. Yeah, we've had tremendous feedback because I think what we've enjoyed seeing is actually someone getting everyone together, coordinated properly and everyone pulling together and that has been, that's been the breakthrough. Well, it, it's too big for any small individual, it's the only way, it is the only way, it's got to be a collaborative approach.